Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to make a video uh, reviewing some glasses or just overall the experience of me buying some glasses from iBuyDirect. I bought some glasses with my own money. If you saw my last video, I had recently uh, bought some prescription glasses online through Key. Like they sell, I've mostly bought sunglasses through them in the past, but they had a BOGO and they had prescription glasses. I thought the overall experience was pretty pretty good, pretty simple. Um, in the past, I would always buy my prescription glasses at the eye doctor and I was spending about two to three hundred depending. And granted, a lot of the glasses at the eye doctor are typically name brand. So that also goes into the cost and I understand that. Uh, but at the same time, I mean, I just really want glasses that look nice on me. And at the end of the day, I don't really care if they're name brand or not. Just me personally. And please ignore my cat. <laughs> but anyway, so the glasses that I got from Key, I ended up returning because they were a little too big for me. And I stumbled across I Buy Direct and just kind of wanted to go through, explain the process and let you know, you know, whether or not I would buy from them again. So if you want to know that answer, stay tuned. When I bought two pairs of glasses. I think I got BOGO. At the time that I bought the glasses, they did have a promotion. So I bought two glasses for about $145, which I think considering I would buy one pair of glasses for like 300, two glasses for 145, um, seems like a good deal to me. So as far as the packaging, this is literally how they packaged it and sent it to me. Um, yeah, so it has, it, they literally just taped them together, put the tracking information on there, and send it off, and it came to me. I honestly was expecting a little more. At least have the two glasses in a box, maybe some packaging in there, but no. <laughs> they, again, just taped them together, and I bought two pairs. Let me just go ahead and open them. So one of them, let's see. So they came in this little case. I didn't realize that they weren't gonna come with like an actual hard case. Going back onto the site and looking at other glasses, I did notice like some of them, when you put it in your cart, it would say free case included. So just the particular ones that I got don't come in a case. They come with this little baggie, which better than nothing, but I will probably end up buying like an, a separate case. So this is the first pair that I got. They feel pretty lightweight. I don't know what else I would be expecting from them. So this is the first pair. They are Aroma. Um, I'll put the name of them at the bottom so you can see in the color, obviously green. So I got these. And I'm gonna be honest, my vision is not very strong. It's very minimal. The main reason I have glasses is because I work a lot on the computer. The main thing for me is like the blue light filter. So I did get that. As far as their like selections, I am a single vision. So you, you know, you select single vision, you select like your distance, multifocal reading, or like whatever your vision is, you select that, put in your uh, prescription that you got from your eye doctor. And then it'll ask you whether you want like for the lens, if you want it clear, blue light filtering, like the sun polarized or um, I guess like the transition lenses. So it goes through all of that. Again, I only wear my glasses inside usually, so I just went with just the basic blue light filtering. From there, what I noticed is on the glasses, there were like different levels of the blue light filtering. And I'll, I'll show like a screenshot so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And then I did notice like per glasses, depending on which one I was like looking at, some of them had like four options while others had like maybe two so i don't know what the discrepancy maybe like the size of the lens they can only do so much that's out of my area of expertise i'm just assuming but as far i know as far as the selection um i ended up just going with like the second tier so look if you're you know ranking them out like there's the bottom one i just went with the second one just i didn't want to spend a lot of money just in case that i didn't like them but i wanted some type of blue light filtering protection when I got these, they do have a little bit of a yellow filtering in them. 
which is usually from that blue light like if you go on amazon and just buy like your blue your just generic blue light filter glasses if you've ever done that a lot of them come with like a, a yellow tint and that's what's blocking the filter and then um so the glasses that i would get from the eye doctor i i know i would get like the highest so they were pretty clear but honestly i mean i noticed it at up front i noticed it at first when i put them on that they're a little yellow tint but nothing to where it's like bugging me i'm over it i mean i put them on i wear them i'm totally fine with them I think maybe just going up in the blue light filter next time could probably uh, eliminate that and make it a little bit clearer. I'm just assuming because like I said, the glasses that I get from the doctor are pretty clear. Like they don't have that, that tint in them. And then I also included the scratch, like the AR coating, like this uh, anti-scratch and things like that. So again, these were the Aroma glasses. And then the second pair... Let me open the box. Okay, so these are the second pair that I got. They're, the name is Noun, and obviously they are pink. Again, same thing. I pretty much you know put my prescription in, selected the blue light. Again, same with these. I just selected that second option. I didn't want to get too crazy with the pricing and so every, as far as like the lenses, they're the same on the two that I bought. These are pretty light as well. Like they, I, they don't feel like they're necessarily going to break, but I do feel that maybe they're a little bit less sturdy than the ones that I've bought from the doctor. But again, those are name brands. So obviously you're paying a higher premium and I would assume those would be, feel a little bit more durable, but I'm not saying that these also these also just don't feel like they're just going to easily snap now if you do have to wear glasses 24 7 and maybe you're doing something like crossfit or something if these were to fall i feel like they would be okay um, but i don't think you would want to wear them doing anything too crazy again i just wear them at home so for me they're perfectly fine but honestly buying from them was pretty easy now, I didn't have to deal with any type of customer service or anything like that. I mean, I know any type of customer service in any regards can be hit or miss. So I, again, I just kind of went online, bought them, got them shipped to me, and here we are. I really do like them. Now, would I buy from them again? Yeah, I, I think I would. They have a lot of cute glasses and it was really hard for me to just pick two or even just pick one, honestly, but these are the two that I went with. Like I said, two glasses with the blue light filtering and like the coating for the anti-scratch and things like that for 150 bucks roughly. I personally think that's a good deal. Did I pay too much? I don't know. I'll let you be the judge. But considering how much I've paid at the doctor's office and I would just go every year just you know making sure my eyes are healthy and nothing else changed and um, I would get like sometimes my prescription would change a little bit and the doctor would say like hey you can use your new your same glasses you're fine or you can get new ones and I would just use my benefits to get another pair and they were always just really expensive my husband recently went to the doctor and this was like after I had ordered these so I was like hey like don't buy any from the doctor like we're gonna go online and see what we can find for you. So he purchased his own, not, okay, so let me actually mention this. My husband was gonna buy his glasses on iBuyDirect, but his prescription has a prism. So I guess that, you know, just kind of helps level out his eyes. And from what we saw, again, we didn't contact any customer service to verify like what the case was. But from what we saw, when we put the prism in, it did not give us an option to select blue light filtering. And he also works from home. He's, you know, we're on the computer all the time. So that was very important for him. We've tried, like we selected several different classes just to see like, okay, well maybe it's just this one. But whenever he would put his prescription in and put that prism, it just didn't give him the option for the blue light filtering. So needless to say, he did not end up buying from iBuyDirect. He ended up getting glasses from Zenny, I believe. And his process, kind of similar. He just put in his prescription and I, the glasses that he got 
they seem pretty nice as well. I don't think there would be any difference like, oh, he should have bought from here or whatever the case. So I do think I buy direct. Again, I had a good experience so far. The only thing was the shipping was, obviously nothing happened. They're fine. They got to me in one piece. So I really can't complain, I guess. I just thought it was a little odd. Probably a way for them to cut costs and able to deliver cheaper glasses. So it makes sense. It makes sense. It does. Here we go. I can't tell which glasses I like more. Was there a particular one that you liked more? Let me know in the comments. Have you bought from iBuyDirect? Will this give you a little bit more comfort in buying online? Whether it be iBuyDirect, Glasses USA, or any other reputable site. I just recently bought glasses online for the first time. I know it's, it's obviously been around, like we know that. But it was just so convenient to buy them there at the doctor, you know, like they do your eye exam and they're like, hey, here are the glasses. And it's fun, you put them on, look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, wow, I like these. And then you're like, boom, I want, it, I want those. And then they do it up for you. They're like, okay, here's your prescription and they, they do that. Yeah, so it was always just out of convenience and I just didn't know better. I thought, I thought if I was gonna buy glasses online, it would be the same price. So why not get them at the eye doctor when they can do it for me and I'm not gonna mess up on my prescription. So that was my thought process. And then I saw like, wait a minute, <laughs> they are not the same price. Granted, yes, these aren't, like I said, these aren't name brand. Uh, the lenses do have a little bit of a tint versus the blue light that I have on my other glasses are pretty clear. Not enough for me to be like, you know what, we're gonna return these. No, I don't know, can you see them? Probably not on camera. Can you see a yellow tint? No, you can't. It's very subtle. And that's important. That's, that's the important part. Once you put them on, you're not going to notice it. I hope you enjoyed this review. And I hope this gives you information because we all are probably spending way too much for glasses at the doctor. Or maybe it's just me. I don't know, am I the last one to find out about this? Let me know in the comments <laughs> and I hope some of you found this video useful. Let me know what you thought and which glasses you like more. Until next time, thanks guys.